It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Now, I want to show off a member of the community's fight that came to me yesterday. This I consider to be a feat, though it is a testament to team building is more important than hero level, all right? This fight was brought to me by Calorie Fair. You might know Calorie Fair from his work doing the um, the shop. He puts together the shop best buys on Hero Wars Facebook and web, and this is a uh, this is a Hero Wars Dominion era fight. The team on the right is absolute maxed. Look at that Heidi, 211,000 power level. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, three heroes above 200K power level. Look at the team on the left. We got a, a Arachne below 100K, which is fine. The most leveled hero is Kira at 184. All right, so uh, if, uh, let's see, really need to brag anywhere I can right now. It's my first time getting to number one in arena. This is a number one arena defense right here. Is this the best arena defensive team that you guys have ever seen? I think it's interesting. I think it's very interesting. Rufus Amira, Polaris, Heidi, and Sebastian. Very interesting line. Very interesting line. Um, worth looking at if you have these heroes. Uh, on uh, on this server, whatever server it is, this is the was the number one arena defense. Uh, let's see. I finally I beat a fully maxed team with no maxed heroes on my side, and I got there with a Kira team. You don't really see Kira too much. Is Kira still? Irrelevant? Is she irrelevant? Is she good? Is she bad? There's a lot of silence in this team, as Scott K has mentioned. You got Isaac silencing, you got Kira silencing. I personally wouldn't usually bring double control into this fight. If you have two heroes that rely on control effects or or specific things to survive, you end up cannibalizing energy gain. Right? If, if the enemy team is stunned too much, they can't do magic damage. So Isaac can't use his abilities, right? So I feel like I feel like Arachne in here might be a little redundant, but I'm not, you know, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. My team was 864 attack power. The other team is 1.182 million. Uh, let's see, my strongest hero, Kira, is weaker. I'm sorry, is yeah, is weaker than the enemy's weakest hero. Uh, this actually isn't, oh, Axel's a pet, yeah. Weaker than uh, uh, Polaris, who only has, you know, one skin. Interesting. So here's the fight. I thought we would watch this fight. I want to uh, give a big shout out to Calorie Fair for sharing this fight. I love seeing fights like this. If you find an interesting fight, something like this that really stands out. Maybe it's a personal accomplishment on this level. I'd love to share it. But um, the main thing here is... You, you got double control with a hybrid damage dealer control. And you got double tank. Like, team synergy here wins. Team synergy here wins. I'm not 100% sure what the purpose of Astaroth is. But I'm okay with it. I think I think Arachne killing Heidi there is, uh, is interesting. Yeah, I mean, this is, this is definitely doing it. Handily. Beat him real easy. Beat him real easy. The only issue is, is you have just you have just Isaac to rely on to kill that uh, that Rufus, which is fine. Um, at the end there, Isaac is kind of slow to ult, but uh, well, I guess Kira does physical damage, but she does the pure damage on top of that. Mad 2G says, I still use Kira. She's my best hero. I use her with Isaac and Thea as a shut the f up team. I I like. I like seeing these heroes being used. Kira used to be super, 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 super popular. You would see her all over the place. You know, just like you see Dante now, or Kark at one time, or the twins at one time. You used to see Kira all over the place. And yeah, Kira is still good in 2024. There you go. <laughs> How good is she in other teams? Maybe we'll try out some other team fights uh, later on. Maybe we'll try her out in uh, some other opportunities. Maybe with some other... Some other tank and support and control and healer choices to try to fight some other uh, strong-looking enemy teams. I wouldn't bring her against Dante. Don't think I would do that. Even though she does do the pure damage a little bit, not not much. Um, yeah, I wouldn't bring her against those kind of teams. Right? Cure interest in talismans can tip some fights in their favor. I like it. I like it. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> 